Hi, this is Gabe from the House Divider Project at Dickinson College, and today I'm going to be taking you through a Wii Video tutorial. What I like about Wii Video is that it's easy to use and it's more private than YouTube, but it still has great sharing capabilities. The first step will be to click the blue sign up button, and then we're going to scroll down to the middle to click on Wii Video Free Account. Two things to know about Wii Video Free is that you only get five minutes of videos a month and it has a watermark. Then you'll sign up with your name and your email and you'll start making videos. Once you've created an account, you get to this dashboard. You'll want to press create a new video. I'm going to pull up a video I previously made just for reference. Once you get into Wii Video, there are three areas you're going to need to focus on the media center, the preview box, and the editing bar. The media center is where all your pictures, audio, and video will go, and you can import that directly from your computer or from a site like Google Drive. The preview box is just where your videos show up, and you can make that full screen or just this quarter screen. Finally, the editing bar is where you're, you'll drag and drop all your pictures and media that you have and edit them. There are four tools you'll need to master before you start making your video. First is the plus button where you can add tracks to drop your media. Second is the save function. We video automatically saves your work but it lags behind so it's good to save. Third is the zoom bar and this will allow you to more easily manipulate your video and that leads us into our fourth tool which is making your clip shorter or longer and you'll have to click on the clip and then you can drag it to make it shorter or longer or you can use the scissor tool to make a more precise cut. The pencil icon is the most important icon in Wii Video. This is where you edit your clips. The main feature you're going to look at here is the scale, and this is where you can make your picture bigger or smaller. You can also type in a specific number to get a certain size. The same goes for position. You can use your mouse to drag the picture wherever you want it to, or you can type in a number and Wii Video will put it in that spot. The next tab you're going to need to focus on is the animation tab. And here you'll put a start location for a picture and an end location, and Wii Video will automatically animate it for you and it'll really pop out on the screen. Transitions are another vital part of Wii Video. They prevent your video from becoming a slideshow. To get some of that movement, you come over to the Transitions tab, and you'll have many transitions to choose from. And when you put one in, you can put it anywhere in the video at any location. And once you put it in, you can change it with the Durations option. The key with transitions and animations is moderation. My rule is two movements for every one non-movement. So maybe I'll have an animation, transition, and then a still. The key thing to remember is that the movements should aid in the storytelling, not distract from it. The text and callout features are going to be crucial in any history style documentary. To access them, go to the text tab and then click on static. The basic text is the easiest to work with. Once you've dropped the basic text into your video, you'll click on the pencil icon. And there, you can write whatever you want, change the font, and even animate the text. The other features you're going to want to look at are the callouts. And these include things like arrows and rectangles. The arrows are good for pointing things out on the map and rectangles can be used as underlines for newspaper documents. All you have to do is just drag this little corner down and boom you have an underline. And overall these features can be really good as an add-on to draw a readers attention to things you want them to see. Stacking is the last concept of Wii Video that we'll cover today. Stacking is putting multiple pictures and videos into one area to make a kind of collage, and this can be a real change of pace in the video that you need. The key, as always, is moderation. Stacking also applies to audio. If you're trying to figure out where your picture should end and a new one should begin, look down at the voiceover. The voiceover should have natural pauses in it that can make it really easy to identify when your picture should end and a new one begins. Your video is almost done, but there's one more thing I think you should consider adding, and that's making a simple text graphic and something like a Word document that can take as little as five minutes. That's what I did for my video, and whether you put it on the title slide or somewhere else in the video, it adds a level of professionalism that wasn't previously there. 
but once you're done and you want to export it, you click finish. And Wii Video gives you a whole host of options to change, but the most important is destinations. You can export to Wii Video, and Wii Video gives you a link that is not searchable on the internet, but is still easily shareable. You can also export to Google Drive or YouTube for any school projects you have. And once you click this button, your project is done, and I hope this video helped. <laughs>